Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today, I'm gonna to do something I did in one of the other previous videos earlier in the year. And I'm gonna put myself on the spot and I'm gonna use this random letter generator website. I'm gonna click generate the random letter and then once it generates the letter, I'm going to think of the first noun that begins with that letter. And then the goal is to take that letter and somehow try to convey the idea of whatever that noun was that first came to my mind within that split second uh, through the negative space and through the form and the shape of the letter. So this, of course, I, if you're unfamiliar with it, this, is, this would be like a logo design. Uh, it's also referred to as a letter mark. And so basically, I, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, though, and subscribe here on YouTube, all right? Okay, so we're at randomlettergenerator.com, so I'm going to go ahead and click on generate another random letter, and then whatever's the first word that comes to mind, a noun, I will say. Nose. Okay. All right. Let's do this. No, we're not in Photoshop. We're in Illustrator. Nose. Okay. N. All right, so I'm going to put a capital and a lowercase n. I think right off the bat, well, let me just go through some fonts here. Um, I think it's going to make the most sense to use a lowercase. Not this. It's like sharp edges right here, which a nose isn't that. So I'm going to switch over here. Try to come up with something that could emulate a nose out of this shape. It's gonna to be tough, I can't really figure out how I might do this. Yeah, maybe, maybe that way. I'm, I'm thinking of some things in my head. Uh, okay. Trying to think of, uh, you know, it kind of looks like, you know, the, the two eyes, and I could be here, and I could be here, the start of the nose right here, and I, I kind of like, you know, well, let me try that. Uh, I, don't, I don't really like this, the, the way it has that tail up there, so let me hit, well, that's going to be the same thing, it's just flipped. Uh, let me try a couple different fonts here. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make my own N because this is kind of irritating. So let me um, let me go to View and Show Grid. View. We're gonna to snap to Grid. Take the Pen tool here, and then we will get out the gradient section. Get rid of the fill for the foreground. Add a black stroke. Make it like 15, I think, something around there just to start with. And I'll go ahead and click right here. Click right there. Actually, let me... All right, right there. There, okay, so let me increase that size. Get rid of that. All right, so I, I know what a nose looks like, but let me go ahead and get up uh, kind of like a reference here, so. I'm going to get this off screen. All right, so I have a uh, off screen. Let me drag it onto the screen real quick. I just have Google Images up here. 
just so we can see, you know, we all know what a nose looks like, but kind of helps just to see them up front so we can get an idea of how I can put this together so that it still looks like an N, but it's also a nose. All right, so um, all right, I'm going to try this. So we're going to have like the nostrils kind of come from like right around here. Yeah, real quick, let me get rid of that stroke. I'm going to make this white. And I'm also going to get rid of the grid. Hide grid, okay. And... Let me come over here, kind of pull this up. All right, so far, so good. All right, and I'm gonna get this back up here just so I can get a somewhat of an idea of what we can do here. All right, so I, I'm gonna take this. Yeah, we're gonna get the uh, black back on our foreground. Oops, I forgot that's still a stroke. I'm just going to take that, go to object path and outline stroke. Take this, yeah, okay. So now I wanna add an actual like nostril sort of black area. Uh, so naturally we come down right around here. So maybe right here, let me bring that back up just so I can get an idea. Okay, so right around here. <laughs> I may have to adjust this. We'll see. All right. Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do right, real quick is take these two and just uh, Control-C, Control-F, duplicate them, right-click, and go to Reflect Vertical, and just place these over here and see if that looks like a nose yet. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Maybe it looks like two bells right here. I like the bell, no, I don't know. Um, all right, so those nostrils need updating. So, let's start around there again. All right. I think this will probably work a lot better. We'll see though. Yeah, this is some pretty big nostrils, I'd say that. Um, <laughs> I take them both and scale them down, maybe a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, kind of, you know, it, it does look pretty decently. I uh, kind of like a nose, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, we could even add some more, possibly some more definition to this. But uh, what we can do first, though, is if we take this layer, select that layer, go to Window Pathfinder, and click on this. We can get rid of that. And let me drag that back up on top real quick. And click on that. All right, so now we got rid of that, so it's transparent here. Let me just put that over here real quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe something like right around there. And then... Does that make sense? I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe if we made it like gray. Or... You know, what's that thing called underneath your nose? <laughs> uh, just above your lip is like a... Yeah, this part right here. Or what if I did like a shadow of sorts? I'll try it just for the fun of it. I don't like this over there, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, you know what? I could try... Just going down like this. Coming out. That way it kind of shapes the nose a little bit better. Right, so let me reflect that real quick. Oops, that did not get copied. Reflect. Yeah, I'll save that one too. I'm gonna get rid of that though, just temporarily. And then try one final idea. This might be difficult to get this right. All right, right around there. Probably would use a grid at this point uh, to make sure this is all. Correctly lined, but that's okay. I'm just this is just for quick practice. Huh. I'm trying to show like like what it would look like with a shadow, kind of like a nose shadow sort of thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, and yeah, you know what? I think I kind of just like uh, I like the other one. Although, this is pretty simple. You know, usually, when it comes to simplicity, simple is better. So, this over here, I'd say it's a little bit much. I kind of like this. Uh, we have the N. It's identifiable. Uh, let me put some type with this real quick. OSE. Convert them to outlines real quick. Go to object path, offset path, thicken it up a little bit so it matches that over here a little bit better. Hit OK. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's it. I think I did it pretty effectively. You know, putting myself on the ah, myself on the spot so that I uh, try to come up with a cool letter mark type of logo. But yeah, you'd go ahead and do this on your own. Uh, it's good practice just to try to think outside of the box, you know, using colors uh, or the shape of the letters, using negative space to come up with something that's uh, pretty cool. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm thinking about tomorrow being uh, the design challenge number three announcement. So we'll see. All right, so I will see you then. Check out Design Course if you haven't yet, and also subscribe here at YouTube. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.